there, it's Mrs. Drake with the saxophone. We're going to be doing book lesson two. Book two, lesson two. Um, so I hope you've warmed up already with some scales, got yourself warmed up. And I would like to do another warm up. Flip over to page four, and it's the one that's called flexibility. So over on page four, the one that's called flexibility on the warm up page, the second one down. Um, you can play it without the slurs, especially if you think the notes are challenging, you're not sure which is which, feel free to play it without, without the slurs to start with. Um, and it does go to high B. Take a look at the last note of the first line. We haven't done that very often, but it's high B, you know, regular first finger, but put your thumb on the register key to create a high B. Everybody warm up a high B. So song, the song called Flexibility on page four, warm up. Um, everybody warm up the first slur. Okay, if the slur, feel free to leave off the slurs if you think you're going to have finger fumble. Okay, flexibility. One, two, ready, go. everybody go to lesson two lesson two okay so the new rhythm on lesson two is two sixteenths followed by an eighth I call it hopper grass if you remember back on lesson one we did grass hopper so this one is the opposite and notice how it looks different the two sixteenth notes are first the sixteenth notes are the one with the double black beam um, so song number one would be T T ta hopper grass ta so song number one is a bunch of G's. Feel free to play it on your sax if you want. But I'm just going to chant song one so you can chant it along with me. Or the first time, and this goes for any of these songs, you might just want to listen to me do it and then rewind the video and try to do it with me. Okay, song one, just saying the rhythms, the titis, the tas, and the hopper grasses. Ready, song one. Ti-ti-ta, hopper grass-ta. Ti-ti-ta, hopper grass-ta. Hopper grass, hopper grass, hopper grass, hopper grass, ti ti ta, hopper grass ta. See, if you have a fast tongue, your tongue would have to match the speed that you just did. Okay, song number two. Hopper grass, ti ti, hopper grass, ti ti, is the speed I'm going to take it. If you feel like that's too fast, just move your fingers with me. Or pause the video and just try it on your own a few times without um, playing with me. But eventually I hope you play it with me. Everybody on song two warm up the first measure. Go ahead and warm that up. Okay, everybody, song two. One, two, ready, song two. signature. I hope you're getting in the habit of checking the key signature for yourself. That song, song two and song three coming up, F has to be first finger Fs. Fs, natural. Um, if you want to, feel free to draw a natural sign or write the word first finger. It's okay with me if you write reminders in your book. Okay, song number three. Hopper grass, T T. Everybody warm up the beginning of song three. Bum, 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 bum. Remember to clear it, clear off your spit. Hopper grass, T T. Song three, everybody. Ready, go. <laughs> is a bunch of G's, so I'm going to skip it. I'm going to not play it on my sax, but I'm going to say the rhythms of song four. And notice on song four, now they mix 
hopper grasses with grass hoppers. So look over song four, see if you can tell which is which. And again, you can play it on your sax if you want, but I'm just going to practice saying the rhythms. And let's do it about this speed. Grass, hopper, grass, hopper, hopper, grass, ta. Okay, song number four, say the rhythm. Ready, go. Grass, hopper, grass, hopper, hopper, grass, ta. Hopper, grass, grass, hopper, tee, tee, ta. Grass, hopper, hopper, grass, grass, hopper, hopper, grass, grass, hopper, tee, tee, ta. Challenging, challenging. Okay, song number five, song number five. Please look through it. Notice that it's a mix of grasshoppers and hopper grasses. Challenging. Song number five, also notice the key signature. It has F sharps and C sharps. So feel free to write in um, reminders to yourself. Okay, song number five. Warm up the first measure of song five. Okay, everybody, song five. Ready, go. challenging it's getting more challenging okay song six no grasshoppers or hopper grasses no key signature so you do, do you trust yourself to remember to play um oh i don't see any f's but the c's are going to be c natural everybody song six look at the second to last note we well, haven't played that one in a while i hope you recognize that it's low e everybody warm up a low e <laughs> It's the second to last note on song six. The very last note on song six has a fermata on it. So watch me, I'll nod my head when I want it to end. Remember, it means you hold it as long as the leader wants. It has some slurs. The first time through the song, if you want to leave off the slurs, it does make it easier. But I eventually expect you to get those slurs under control. Legato, at song six, the beginning, it says legato. That means to play it in a smooth style, smooth style. So maybe a little bit of a gentler tongue than you usually do. Okay, everybody, song six, warm up the first three notes. That's going to be the speed. Okay, song number six, everybody. Song six. Ready, get set, go. the night returns night returns no key signature so remember the f's will be first finger again if you want to write yourself a note go ahead um hopper grasses i don't see any grasshoppers looks like all of them okay and then it goes up to high c take a look at measure eight do you recognize the high c and then there's a high b so everybody warm up a high c grasshoppers they put dots it means to clip it short I don't feel like that's appropriate for elementary school just you can leave that off just don't don't worry about it. it's called staccato don't don't bother with that that's okay so the first measure is oh sorry everybody go ahead and warm up the first measure okay everybody the night returns one, two, ready, go. Three, four, rest. 
was lesson two.